Hi everyone and welcome to Entire Gems. This is Dharan Gupta here. So today we're going to talk about synthetic rubies. After a lot of requests on our comments of our previous videos, microscope videos. So in front of me right here are four stones. One is natural and three others are synthetics. So before we go to a deep dive and look under the microscope to see how you could tell if the stone is natural or synthetic, I thought why not let's just play a game and guess which of these four is a synthetic just based on your naked eye. So first, let's look at this first one right here. So this one is a Capuchon, not so clean, ruby. So do you think it's synthetic or real? Alright. The second one right here is a Princess Cut Squarish. Again, quite small. Not so clean. Nice red. Okay. Now let's see this third one right here. So the third one right here is a round 2 millimeter pinkish red. Almost a pink sapphire. But it is still a ruby because the red is slightly more of a dominant color. So do you think this is synthetic or real? And the last one right here is a Beautiful pigeon blood, clean, one carat stone. So do you think this is synthetic or real? All right, now let's give five seconds before I give you an answer. So take a look one more time. Let me just focus here. Uh, which of these four do you think is the synthetic and which is a three I mean? Which are the synthetic and which is the real. Alright, so let's tell you the answer. So, this one is actually synthetic. This one's also synthetic. This one's also synthetic. And this is actually the natural unheated pigeon blood ruby. So, based on your naked eye, just by looking at these four stones, one cannot tell if a stone is synthetic or real. I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube which explains that the rubies could either be synthetic or real by just looking at it and seeing if it's clean, nice red, pigeon blood, etc. But that's an old wife tale and actually rubies can only be told by looking it under the microscope or if there's no inclusion you have to send it to a gem lab, a professional third-party gem lab. And that's the only way to tell if a ruby is a synthetic or natural. So now let's look at each of these three synthetics under the microscope so I could explain to you what you have to look at and tell the difference between a natural and synthetic. Okay, so before we look at these synthetic rubies under the microscope, let me discuss what equipment we should use to check between synthetic and natural rubies. In our previous microscope videos, I noticed there were a lot of comments people asking what equipment do we require when looking at these stones and to see these inclusions. So I thought why not in this video I'll just introduce you to two equipment we as gemologists will use in the field or in our office when to check between synthetic or natural gemstones. So this first one I'm showing you right here is a dark field gem loop which is pretty much a loop which you could put a flashlight under and gives a, you a dark field effect. This is really effective if you're going to the field and needing to a quick way to check between synthetic and natural. Like if you're in, in the field in Burma or in Chantaburi or in Sri Lanka and need to quickly see if the, uh, the broker which is giving you the gemstone is giving you a natural stone or a synthetic. So with this, with this environment, it's quite easy to see these inclusions, which I'm going to show you later, and what to see in synthetic or natural stones. Another equipment which I'll recommend is a, the second image you can see here, here is a gem microscope. Of course, gem microscopes are not cheap, and I do not recommend to go, go to the lower grade ones, because you will be sacrificing in terms of if you could zoom in, zoom out, you know, clarity, this and that. Like this is one of them which is similar to what we have in our office right now and you can see it's quite expensive, like $1,700. Uh, 
with the, which without including shipping so I mean uh, I have provided the links for both of these below so if you want to click on it and take a look on Amazon go ahead and there are other options out there too but again if you're looking for a gem microscope I do recommend to look at uh, the higher end ones than, than lower end ones because the lower end ones they're always sacrificing something or another okay so the first Microsoft video I'm showing you right here is the princess cut synthetic ruby and it, the, the first thing you'll notice immediately is these curved lines on the bottom of the stone which I just zoomed in these curved lines is a clear indicator of a synthetic ruby and they're called curved striae and it's the most telltale sign for a flame fusion ruby let me show you a second video of a more close-up of this and it, as you can see in the second video right here you can see the curves going from up to down and going throughout the stone in parallel lines nice clean parallel lines if you see these lines inside a ruby you could be almost 100% guaranteed that the stone you have is a synthetic this is like the number one indicator which we do check as gemologists to see if the stone is synthetic or natural I'm just zooming it out again so you could see these lines and you can see it's going throughout the whole stone so when we see this we like oh my god this is synthetic and I'm going to show you two more images of this curved stride and this this image you can see is on the top We're going to up to down again parallel lines curve simple easy indicator to check if it's synthetic and finally again one more image right here it's coming from up to down again clear image that these this ruby is a synthetic ruby all right so the second microscope video I'm going to show you right now is the capuchon rubies which are again looks like they're natural stones so the first thing you'll notice under the microscope is these all these spots around the whole stone these spots are actually gas bubbles which again it's a clear indicator that this is a flame fusion ruby um, gas bubbles can also be seen in glass field rubies as you might have noticed from the other microscope videos which I showed you but in this one you will notice there's no inclusion which is reaching the surface of the stone um, I'm just zooming out in the second microscope video which you can see here and so when there's no surface indicator cracks so you could know that this stone is actually has been crystal has been made from the synthetic process which causes these a lot of these gas bubbles around yeah, I'm going to show you two more images of these gas bubbles again all these spots which you see around through trained eyes like us we could tell immediately that these are gas bubbles and not natural inclusions and uh, again I'm just zooming in the sorry this third last image is not so clear but again these are all these spots are all different shapes of gas bubbles which is throughout the synthetic okay so the final microscope video I'm going to show you today is the two millimeter pink kish red rubies and in the microscope you will notice immediately these wavy lines which look like checkerboard like pattern this is actually a intentionally made inclusion which people try to do to trick us to think that the stone is a natural stone this process is called quint crackle so what happens in quint crackle is the stones are uh, synthetic stones are actually heated to 1000 to 1200 degrees celsius and then for three to four hours and then dropped into cold water which causes these cracks these fingerprint looking inclusions so this process is, has been applied to synthetics and course for a long time to make people think that they are natural stones but the, for, for a trained us like us we could actually see this checkerboard effect and could tell almost immediately that this is a synthetic stone so you could even see it through this image which you can see I'm showing you right here so if you see this these wavy ch checkerboard looking inclusion then you know that this was an intentionally made inclusion made by man and is a synthetic ruby alright so I hope you found these synthetic ruby Microsoft videos useful and again by practice of looking at these stones often 
you will start seeing these indicators really easily and and also I do recommend to please check the previous videos which we have made regarding glass wheel ruby versus unheated ruby and also the other treatment of rubies like heated uh, flux inclusion etc and just compare these microscope videos and you'll start and start practicing go out and start looking at these stones the synthetics and the reels and try to compare and through experience you will eventually could tell quite quickly how you could tell between a synthetic and a natural ruby and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to write below and if you want us to make more videos similar to this or some new topic please also tell us and I'll be glad to try to do it and we are trying to do it as more quickly as possible so please subscribe as well and I hope you guys have a good day thank you and bye bye